Good morning. In today's session, we will see what is average and RMS value of an alternating quantity. In the previous session, we have seen how to draw an alternating quantity or how to represent an alternating quantity using a graph. The alternating quantity is generally taken along the y-axis and let me say here the alternating quantity is the voltage. It's sinusoidally varying pi 2 pi and this is called the peak value EM. If this is the waveform, we write it as mathematically E of t is EM sin omega t. Now what is EM here? It is peak value. What is E of t here? Instantaneous value. What do you mean by instantaneous value? It is the value of this voltage at any time t. Like for example at t1 it may be here, at t2, at t3 etc. The value of the voltage or the current at any instant. Now in when we do a circuit analysis, like for example if you want to calculate the power dissipated in a circuit when an alternating voltage is passed through a circuit. For, let me take you know we have a resistor over here and then you are passing some alternating voltage to the circuit. Now I want you to calculate what is the power dissipated in this resistor. We know when a DC current has passed if I is the current passing through resistor the power dissipated is actually calculated as I square R. Now when you want to find out the power dissipated in the resistor when an alternating voltage or current is passed through a circuit how do you calculate? Now which current do you take? If E is the alternating voltage applied then the current may be I of T which is also sinusoidal. So to calculate I square R which current do you take? Do you take current at T1, current at T2, current at 3T? It's if, uh, if you calculate power at each instant it is a tedious job. So what we do is instead of taking this instantaneous current we take another current while calculating the power that is called RMS value. So in the next step we'll see what is this RMS current. How do we calculate it? How do you get that current? And also meantime we'll see what is average value. Average value I think you are all aware of it. Average is nothing but mean value. First I'll take down, uh, you can take down the average value. Or it is also called as mean value. Average value. I can simply that is uh, say that it is the arithmetic mean. The arithmetical average of all the values of an alternating quantity over one cycle is called average value. I'll read the definition over here. The average value is nothing but the arithmetical average of all the values of an alternating quantity over one cycle. is called the average value. Now let me show you a current waveform here. Current is flowing and this is the peak value I am. Now if you take at each instant the different currents so let us say this current is I1, this is I2, 
this is i3 etc when you take the average value i average will be you know i1 plus i2 plus etc up to if you take some n values it's the mean of those values now here it's a symmetric waveform now in case of symmetric what happens when you take average value the average value becomes zero why because the positive half cycle is exactly same as the negative half cycle when you take the average value for positive cycle you may be getting somewhere here similarly for negative cycle exactly opposite in magnitude but the same value the total average value will be becoming zero so remember in case of symmetrical wave like for example in case of our sinusoidal current or voltage the positive half cycle is exactly same as the negative half cycle and hence if the average value is taken over entire cycle the average value becomes zero hence in this particular case the average value is obtained only for half cycle instead of one full cycle we take it for half cycle but for unsymmetrical wave we can take the average value for the entire cycle remember in case of symmetrical wave the average value is taken only for half cycle so i can also define this as now the average or mean value is the steady current mean or average value mean or average value of an alternating current or voltage let me define it for current mean or average value of an alternating current is that steady current so it is equal to one constant current is that steady current which when pass through which when pass through a circuit mean or average value of an alternating current is that steady current it is equal to that constant current which when pass through a circuit for how long for half the time period of the alternating current half cycle for half the time period of the alternating current sends the same amount of charge as is done by the alternating current in same time in same time through the same circuit what do you mean by this so i am measuring the average value in terms of the charge which is passing through the circuit mean or average value of an alternating current is that steady current it is equal to that constant current or a dc current which when pass through a given circuit for the time period what is the time period for half the time period of the alternating current sends the same amount of charge as is sent by the alternating current during the same time for example take a resistor r and pass an alternating current through it so let's say you know the current flowing through this is is 
I am sin omega t. Now apply a DC voltage through the same resistor and the current now should be in such a way that it should be equal to I mean or I average and this I average is given by for alternating quantity sinusoidally varying alternating quantity it can be found that I average is 2 I am by pi I average is 2 I am by pi remember this equation we may need it I average is 2 I am by pi if you pass the I average current through the same resistor for the same time it will send the same amount of charge as was sent by this I okay so it is defined in terms of the charge amount of charge which is supplied by that current this is about average value next we'll consider another important term this is very very important because this is the one which we frequently use for the all our uh, power calculation etc RMS value RMS value or it is also called as what is RMS it is root mean square value R means root mean square value root mean square value so what is this this is something new or you might have studied in mathematics also so in statistics now we can say that it is the root mean square root mean means it is the square root of the mean value of the squares of the sample it is the square root of the mean value of the sample now for example when you take an alternating quantity let you uh, let us take an alternating quantity here omega t and then you know so let us say this is I of t and then this is I m is the peak value so we will take uh, different currents like say I 1 I 2 I 3 etc different interval of time so this root mean square value is given by I R M S so statistically I can define it as I R M S S root mean square first you take the squares of all these currents I1 square I2 square plus etc etc up to IN square divided by N because square and then you take the mean value so divided by N because I have N values divided by N and then you take square root of that quantity so root mean square value what we did it statistically like take some n number of samples square it then you take the mean value and then square root so root mean square value I will explain this root mean square you in detail in the coming class